Okay, so I had someone ask me, um, how do you back up your contacts in Android? And I just decided I'll make a video on that because it seems to be a very common uh, issue with Android users, or at least those who are new to Android. Um, I'm going to be using an ice cream sandwich device, however this method is pretty much the same for any version of Android, whether on gingerbread, froyo, eclair, whatever, uh, so you can still follow this video. There are three methods, and um, I'm going to show you the most efficient method, which is by going to the phone system settings, and like I said this works for older version of Android. Uh, you're going to go to accounts and sync, you're going to find your Gmail account, which you punched in when you set up your phone and then you're gonna make sure contacts is uh, checkmarked. I've noticed some phones don't have a checkmark next to it so um, I believe just simply tapping on it will force a resync and basically what happens is this forces your contacts to go to the Google servers so say you get a new Android device and you wanna get those contacts back as soon as you punch in your uh, Gmail email at the setup screen and you open your phone book your contacts will show up on the new Android phone Furthermore, you can also access them in uh, Gmail if you're using um, a laptop or desktop, whatever. If you log in through a web browser, your phone contacts will show up there as well. Okay, That's the most efficient method. I suggest you only use that method because that's the way people do it nowadays. Backing up your contacts to your SIM card and SD card, I'll show you how to do that. But honestly, that's a thing of the past. But if that's what you want to do, I can't really stop you, right? Okay, so the screen might blur out time to time simply because I want to block my contacts, but you'll still be able to understand what's going on. So if you go to your phone book, I'm going to show you how to back it up the two other ways. Uh, you'll notice my menu is quite long. Um, I don't know if that's because it's ice cream sandwich or this is based slightly off a Samsung TouchWiz ROM, but the, the, the options you're looking for are pretty much the same. Um, one should be something like import-export. And as you can see, you can back it up, uh, export to USB storage, export to SD card. I believe if you back it up to the SD card uh, via any of these methods, it'll blo uh, back it up as a SVC file format, something like that. I can't remember it, to be honest. Um, and then if you want to import it from your SD card, obviously you hit import here or here. Okay, so that's another method. The final method, and perhaps the worst method, is to back it up to the SIM card. Like I said, backing up to the Google servers backs up every single detail. But if you're old school, then, well, whatever you prefer, right? Um, in my phone, you hit SIM management, and then copy contacts to SIM card, obviously. Um, so, like, you can see the options that I have here. Um, but when you hit the phone menu settings, you might have to read and search for yourself because say you have a Motorola phone, Motorola Blur, or if you're running Samsung, which is TouchWiz, um, if you're running a Sony phone, which is UXP or something like that, d depending on your mobile manufacturer or which version of Android, this menu will always be different. So there's nothing I can really help you with that, but honestly, if you, know, if you can read, you'll be fine, right? But the fact remains that to sync your contacts in your Gmail account, it's always the same, no matter which version of Android you're using, accounts and sync. Okay? Simple as that. Um, so like I said, I recommend you use this because it's always backed up to the Google servers, and you can always access it from your Gmail account if you're logged in through a computer web browser. So that's how you back up your uh, contacts in Android. If you found this video useful, hit the like button. It does help. Subscribe to my channel or check out my website for technology news and rumors and thanks for watching.